whether that just be fresh wounds or ultimately the death of the king. Last episode, we spoke about the Briarthorn, Strangle Kelp, Bruise Weed, and Grave Moss. Continuing on from last episode, we now have the Wild Steel Bloom. The Wild Steel Bloom can be found in level 20 plus zones. It is known for being difficult to reach due to its high elevation on steep hills, requiring a certain talented navigator to locate it. But if you are less talented or a lazy fuck, you can buy from vendors such as Bernard Gump or Mariana Lemaire in Stormwind. Wild Steel Bloom can be mixed with Strangle Kelp and a leaded vial to make an elixir of defense, increasing your armor, making you a tougher badass motherfucker. Ah yes, King's Blood. King's Blood can be found in level 20 plus zones as well. It is usually found in flat areas, fields, or plains. Basically, any place where battles could have been fought and blood drawn from a king. Whether that just be fresh wounds or ultimately the death of the king. It's his blood that allows these flowers to blossom in battlefield-like areas. King's blood can be mixed with grave moths and a leaded vial to make a shadow protection potion, allowing you to absorb damage from shadows. The life root is once again found in level 20 plus zones. However, this particular plant is found near water, such as edges of lakes, rivers and pools of fresh water. Life root is known for its healing capabilities as it can be mixed with bruise weed to create a major troll's blood elixir which regenerates health for you. The Fade Leaf. This particular leaf can be found in level 25 plus zones. Near to bushes, in contrary to its name, the Fade Leaf is entirely visible. However, it has gotten its name from its visibility capabilities. Fade Leaf can be mixed with Wild Steel Bloom to create a lesser invisibility potion, allowing the player to go invisible for 15 seconds. However, if you're an absolute boiler and you're over level 50, this particular potion has no effect on you. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video, really appreciate it. If you liked it, be sure to hit the thumbs up button for me, subscribe if you want to see more from me, and remember to turn on the bell notifications, and if you want to, leave a comment, that would also be awesome. See you in the next one hopefully, take care, and bye for now.